Hello and welcome back to the official Gather YouTube channel. In this video, we will be going over how to create your own custom object and how to resize it. Um, the first thing that we are going to want to do is go straight to Google and search for the kind of image that you're looking for. I searched for Corgi pixel art. Um, does not have to be pixel art, but I find that this is what scales very well and does match the rest of the space. Uh, if you have a custom space or anything like that that does not match the pixel art that we have, then you can use other kinds of images as well. So the first thing that I am going to do is save this image. I'm just going to save it just directly to my desktop so I can find it easily. I'm going to go to this third party website here, which is free. It is called pixlr.com slash x and I will leave a link to this in the description box down below. But what you'll want to do is go straight over to Open Image, and I'm going to select the Corgi image that I had just saved, and I'll click Open. And from here, we're going to want to cut out just the Corgi here so that we can get rid of all of the white around the edges, and we'll make that transparent by going to the Cutout tool over here on the left-hand side. And then we're going to want to click Magic Cutout. And I'm just going to click in the white area, and it should automatically cut out all of the white and make all of that transparent so that we don't have that white box showing up on our map. Okay. And then I'm going to click Save. And um, I'll just leave the file name as Corgi. That's totally fine. Uh, we will want to resize it at this point so that it is a decent size once we upload it directly to Gather. So here you can select image width or height. It will automatically adjust. Uh, the main thing at this point that we'll want to do is make sure that we are taking into account the entire frame. So it goes from the top of the square to the bottom of the square, not just where the image is that we want to use. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click back to our map maker here. And each of these grid spaces is 32 by 32 pixels. So I want it to be slightly larger than that. Um, I think what I'll do is enter in 64 because that'll put it pretty much in this exact square, but the corgi will be slightly smaller than that. So I'm going to go back to pixlr.com. I'm going to enter 64 and click download. You are going to want to go back to your map maker for the space that you'd like to add that image to. I'm going to uh, go over here and click objects, which would then bring up this plus sign. And we'll open the object picker. From there, I'm going to click upload new at the bottom left hand corner. And then I'm going to click where it says drag image or click to upload. I'm going to click that just to open my documents here. Um, then I'm going to look here just to make sure I'm uploading the right one. I did just save that as a PNG file. The original was a JPEG. The original was also 600 by 600 pixels, and the new one is 64 by 64. So just make sure that you are uploading the correct file here just to make sure that it does work properly. And then for object name, uh, I'm just going to add the word Corgi. Down here under object interactions, you can inter add interactions if you'd like to. Uh, you don't have to, that's totally fine. If you just want it to be decorative, I would leave it as is. I'm going to click create and select, and now you'll see I can place this Corgi within my space. Um, Maybe if I don't want the placement there exactly, another thing that I could do is click the Select Mode tool up here, and then you can zoom in. And you can then drag it to be a little bit more specific. So maybe I want it to be a little bit closer to this tree here. Okay, and then I'm going to click the Save button. And I will then jump back to that space and just Take a look at it, make sure it worked. There we go. And that is the end of this video.
for more tips and tricks, feel free to check out our other YouTube videos. If you did find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to help others find them as well. But other than that, thank you for watching and happy gathering.